Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, first round match between Fanjo and his Norse and Krupi and his Chorfs. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello! Hello everybody, here we have a blizzard that is going to make things very complicated for both teams. And before we even start, let's dedicate this game to our viewers in St. Lucia, an island in the Eastern Caribbean. They speak English there. And they use the Eastern Caribbean dollar. The national flower is the rose and the marguerite. If you ask me, those are two flowers. <laughs> and the national dish is the salt fish, which is more or less any fish on the sea, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, this uh, that's very interesting, isn't it? This looks like America, doesn't it? With this uh, this all this snow. Um, interesting teams we've got here. Krippy is obviously the high TV team. Fanjo has a bribe and a babe and already caused a Kaz. A uh, really nice team, Krippy, isn't it? Two claw pommers, uh, nice bulls, nice... Or, uh, the Chorfs could be a little bit better, but it's a really nice team. And of course, Chorfs would never ever lose to Norse uh, in Chalice, so he's got that going yeah, for I have, him. I have never seen it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, this is a and this then, is a really nice team. And the Norse team is a. Uh... Oh, that was unlucky, wasn't it? If he just got the yeah. push, he'd have pushed Cheney in, and then he would have been at the claw pump Cheney. That was a really nice, really nice idea from Kribby. Brave already uh, gone. Yeah, diced. And the blizzard is actually pretty bad for the Chorfs, isn't it, to be fair? Because obviously, although although Bull Sentinels aren't movement 9, they do like to GFI sometimes, and that kind of kills them. Oh my god. Wild Animal. He's Wild Animal both turns, and this time wastes the Blitz. Oh, that... Uh, that wasn't as smart the uh, decision rolling a 1 there. Yeah, it should not have rolled a 1. It's foolish. <laughs> Gonna be a bit tricky to bring. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there is a lot of friendship traps there, you know. If, uh... This is uh... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A GFI to surf. And I guess, how do you protect it afterwards? Oh, wait, no. Oh my god. As Cheney was gonna try and do the surf. Don't yeah, mind Cheney's me. A Chine is the Norse player, so yeah. And uh, Fanji has been extremely lucky with the block dice. I'm just going to go die of shame, just uh, ignore me for five minutes. Oh, yeah, there you go. go. Go to the corner of shame. And now... Uh, Jesus, I mean, uh, Krupik is able to roll anything on those block dice. He could, you know, in a regular situation, there will be a, a lot of dead uh, Norse already. But you'll f I think you'll find this is the regular situation against Norse. <laughs> yeah, okay. The stun is good. And this more or less says, you know, to uh, find you. If you want to score, go ahead, buddy. I'm going to keep hitting your players here. Mm. But that is kind of what the Norse want, isn't it? The Norse are a rowdy, bangy team. Um, they're quite happy just banging and banging and banging. Oh, here comes the piling on. Oh, oh, oh. All right, okay, here comes the the apple. Yeah, instant apple. Ho oh, oh. Is this a Norsin? Is this a Norsin? It could well be. We've got a mighty claw mighty now. There's another Kaz. Boy, howdy. Huge that the claw pummer gone for this and next as well. Whoa. Imagine getting diced by Norse. I would never. <laughs> and look, see, much better than uh, much better than I can't remember his name, but you know the the orcs who were like focusing on protecting the ball straight away. Fanjo's just yeah. using the ball carrot to assist the foul. <laughs> you know, no, no, no uh, pissing around. A true blood ball coach. A true blood ball coach. You know, choosing a bribe instead of an extra apple for the, the for the game. You know, knowing that everything is going well. Yeah. Oh well, Cheney's gone. 
for the half. That's good. It means he can't means he can't surf himself. <laughs> the surf threat is gone now. <laughs> oh dear. And claw upon the Yeti. Good. Going for the pylon, grouping in something, gets nothing. Mm. There is a DP there. So, that DP could run around and foul the uh, clock. Oh, he's fouling the end first. No. Oh, well, there's, there's some randomness this is, can happen here. This is the turn where uh, Krupi's team uh, gets destroyed. <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> there's a DP there, there's a POM here. Oh, well, there oh. might not be a POM. Chains him out. Doesn't get the knockdown. Oh, diced. Hmm. The dice in this game have been pretty shocking, haven't they, for both parties, really. Oh, finally we get something after uh, 3 million chains. Mm. Is this a frenzy trap? No. Wow. Oh my god, how many ch I mean, uh, <laughs> Andy Davo, you know, is uh, joining us in the chat, maybe. This is this is golden uh, dream here. <laughs> Endless uh, chains. Yeah, could have could have served him from the LOS with all these. <laughs> and now he might get a bit of heat on the cage here with this blitz. Oh, no, he didn't follow. He's not getting a bit of heat on the cage. I mean, there's not a cage. There's a ball carrier. I'd have definitely followed and moved him back up a bit here. Can you shoot a play, guys? I don't know why he didn't follow there. He could have been an extra square back, couldn't he? Yes, uh, it seems the group is in a full rowdy mode, you know, full rage. Mm. Hitting back as uh, much as he is being hit. <laughs> and here comes another round of uh, chains. Yep. This time he's Imagine doing this in points. tabletop. Imagine <laughs> doing this in tabletop. Oh man, somebody did do something like this against me in tabletop. It was actually really good. He, uh, like, I thought I'd won, so, like, I had stopped paying attention. And then, like, he just did, like, you know, some ridiculous dodges. And then, like, a million chains to, like, chain his guy in a range to, to score. And it was, I was very impressed, to be fair. I was very impressed. Yeah, it comes back up. Yeah, it needs to be some uh, degree of protection there. And here comes the jetty with the blitz. Finally gets a knockdown. No. Uh, but it's not easy to blitz the Yeti. Uh, maybe he'll try and think about the ball a bit. Yeah, I think he might think about the ball. This is a very easy ball sack, isn't it? Well, not easy, but potentially easy. Oh, he needs a pow. Gets the pow. Uh, you go get the pow, and now he has a path. Yeah. With the ball. Yeah, this is pretty easy. This is a pretty easy ball sack, isn't it? Problem is, like, the, the blizzard. Wait. I might break uh, tackles because it's a... Th cause, uh, I'm not sure that was correct. I'm not sure that was correct. I think he's going got, for he's the GFI sure was a better option, be yes, because of the surf beat. Yeah. Well, that, that was like one three plus instead of two three pluses, but you've got you've got skill rerolls on the GFIs and could have just hit from here, which is doing basically the same thing. Oh wow, the four plus dodge! <laughs> Nearly rolled all the dice that turn. Holy moly! And the Norse are paying the price of their uh, little distraction there. Yeah, that was a bit sloppy. Like you know, at the end of the day, that the, the, you've got to be on your guard against the bulls. Uh, you know, the break tackle is is pretty pretty brutal. 
Here we go. Yeti Blitz, zero fucks given. Gets the claw mighty knockdown. And a KO. Gets the KO. Another removal. And he's out of the rolls. Hmm. Huge dodge there. Huge dodge with no rerolls. Flip me, guys. Can the can he come in the backside? One, two, three. There is a hobo that can he dodge followed. and uh, get the one. The okay. I'm gonna pause. If he hadn't followed, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no, he couldn't hit. He couldn't hit. He couldn't hit with a bull going that way. What about this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no, he, ca he can't hit with a bull. Okay. So that, that follow-up doesn't matter. Just going for a claw pom. Well, pom. He's armor six. <laughs> There's no claw in this. So yeah, he could have he could have one the ball. Is 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 it is, you know, Not only a block even breaking armor versus armor six. Groupy, go home. <laughs> Got drunk. Yeah, he made the dodge. So maybe he should have one deed there. I think the the one D, you know, uh, was <gasps> fails the jump up. Absolutely brutal. So now he's got to rely on the uh, on the yeti wild animal blitz that fails. <laughs> Ooh. So now he's got a dodge which fails. <laughs> and he doesn't have any reroll. <laughs> and he stands himself, so yes, it perfect. Wow. <laughs> perfect defense by a groupie. Wow, that was horrendous, wasn't it? Like, what was that, like a 1 in 108 or something? 1 in 36, then a 1 in 3. Absolute dice. Defending the ball is super easy. Comedy mega. That was that was brutal. <laughs> Alan Murder. I mean, yeah, it was glorious. To be fair. <laughs> I more than I was thinking about you the other day when I saw the weather in uh, the US. I'm guessing that now in Detroit you have something. <laughs> Snow and ice. <laughs> At least there's something. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now yeah, there's no score, is there? Well, there's no score available for the Norse. Well, no, you can just hand it off to him. If there is a score available, you just hand it off to the Yeti. And it's gonna happen. Oh, nearly. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's already melted out. <laughs> 48 Fahrenheit, how much does it in proper temperature? <laughs> yeah, sorry, you'll have to translate that to, to actual real uh, heat, please, Morida. Hello, Skuro. Oh, glorious, cheers, King James. Okay, 9 degrees. Oh, it's not that hot, is it? Enough to melt the ice. And I still fuck you up, so yeah, perfect Detroit weather. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a foul. I know it cans. Okay, yeah, that's pretty that's, that's a big difference, Moradan. <laughs> yep, there's the apple gone. Alright. And now we have oh lots of uh, Norse coming back. We still have a game here. Yeah. Um, super interesting. <laughs> still 11 on the Chorfs and still 11 on the uh, Norse. The Yaj 4 sure hands guy stays out. But they still have 11. 11 versus 11. Uh, Obviously down a claw on me, so it's it's definitely down more quality, isn't he, Krupi? But he was already ahead on teams anyway, so won't be that perturbed.
outrageous dicing by Michigan weather. <laughs> No. Well. <laughs> I think that is going to benefit more the Chorps than the Norse. <laughs> yeah. But no LOS hits for the <laughs> Chorps. Yeah. The pull down's big, but yeah, obviously, uh, this is like. Three, five players down versus two is pretty brutal, isn't it? Oh, wait, hey, there was a Norse there. It was a interesting setup there, I so it mm. Finally gets the power. Oh, hey. Oh, thanks, Weathermore. See, I'm, I'm, I'm too, I'm too little of a salesman to like <laughs> to actually ask people to sub. But you know, yeah, like you know, if it if it really if it really bothers people, they can sub. Yeah, can't. yes, or you can. Or they can fuck subscribe. off. You know, <laughs> or they can subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell button to get the real subscribe button. Yep. But it's true, though, isn't it? You know, like it's fair enough, isn't it? You can, you can, you can, you can sub or you can fuck off if you don't like it. There are your two options, or you can put up with it. Like it, whatever it is, like but there's just no need to mourn about it, is there? <laughs> there's no need to mourn about it because you can, you know, you can do what you want, can't? Um, <laughs> I haven't yet, Steve. No, the cook saw. I'll, I'll be honest with you. The, the biggest, the biggest priority for me. I, I, you know, I've been, I've been Battle Brothersing it up a lot, but after this Battle Brothers phase is done, number one priority is to sort out coaching, and then, uh, and then do like Battle Brothers guides and Blood Bowl guides, because like you know, I'm not, I'm not that keen on streaming games of Blood Bowl anymore. And obviously, after this week of the. Uh, chalice it calms down the number of games to, to stream like you know the commentary cools down a bit doesn't it you know like harvesting yes. games thanks god it. thanks god i mean uh, just imagine if this is here where uh, big it was bigger you know if, if this video game was more successful and instead of 64 teams there were 128 teams or something like that. <laughs> yeah Well, I'd be happy if it got like Minecraft viewers. To be fair, <laughs> it'd be pretty great, wouldn't it, if it was that popular? But um... I mean, that's all there is, Crass. Really, <laughs> that's all there is anymore until maybe it's Blood Bowl three. Maybe I'll play. Maybe I'll play again Blood Bowl three. Who knows? That's the uh, February. Mm. But the bigger uh, things is the crossplay. And the uh, Cabal Vision. Yeah. Because we have the Cabal Vision, you know, you, you, there could be, you know, CCL Cubs that nobody gets to watch barely any game at all. I mean, I don't, think there'll, be, are... don't think there'll be CCL Cubs either, to be honest. Oh, there will be something. There will be I some kind of tournament, something like that. No, I don't think But if there is no, you know, for uh, commentators or streamers or something like that, just imagine that that's the end of the playoffs of. The, all the private leagues like Rebel and all that because there are no commentators because they can uh, watch the game as it happens. Yep. And in for uh, CCL, you know, or big tournaments from uh, CNI or whoever it is, you know, wants to sponsor anything. If there is no Calva Vision and the people, the guys playing the final, for example, are not streamers, nobody is going to be able to watch anything. Yep. This is super interesting here. He could have done. He could have. He could have chained the uh, elf into the cage, but he hasn't. <laughs> but there you go. Maybe he didn't think it was worth it. Maybe he didn't see it. One of the two. One of those two, and either are kind of valid, I guess. But I think I would have wanted to. Yes, that's what I'm doing, Voro. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing football two anymore. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll give Blood Bowl three a go. See what happens. And uh, 
So which means that with that means there's going to be like a lot less streaming, right? So I can focus on getting the YouTube sorted and the coaching sorted, which is I've never really done. I've done a bit of coaching, but I haven't had a proper system. Nope. Gets the power, but not really super controlled there, is he? Should be able to blitz. No, there is there is pressure there, but the, the charge can move the gates easy. There's Cheney at the front, and there is, you know, so yeah, it's pretty it's it's not it's not great for Krupi now. I was surprised he didn't foul uh, Cheney when he was on the floor. Yeah. Oh wow, this follow was terrible. That's Unless he breaks tackle with the... With the bull. Yeah, gets a removal there. Eh? Yeah, oh, there you go. Okay. I think he's safe from... Uh, from any kind of chains here. I oh, he could've... He could've got... That guy onto the edge of the corner, I think, on the edge of the cage. Thanks, Alma. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that people took this long to make that joke, you know. They want to be the one uh, saying it, but I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> Especially having scousers in the chat. Yeah, true, true. Wait, uh, King James. Okay, you, I know you know you look a very optimistic person. You are very motivated, but <laughs> Blood, Bowl, Blood Bowl three, Norgal <laughs> is not good. No, they it's are not good at worst. all. The literal worst. Even out of if they had all twenty four teams, they'd still be the worst. <laughs> yes. So choose yeah, exactly uh, like what is skulls mm -hmm. playing uh, Norgal. So. Pick another bash team. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that quad skulls does leave. So after that quad skulls there, that does leave in the chain for Cheney. Which and is happening here in your screen here and now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and he doesn't even need the blitz to do it, does he? So who's he going to blitz? Like, surely... Yeah, blitz with a guard to help. No, I don't know, I'm not sure I like this. Oh wow, more dub skulls! <laughs> wow. What a, what a crazy game of dice this has been. So this is a 2D in an uphill, this is a... Oh no, it's a 1D in an uphill, Jesus. Well... Yeah. Okay, well that was our, our results. Yeah. Flip me. This is Chalice, yes. It's a group against his chores versus Fangio and the Norse. I mean, you are already watching that, so yeah, I don't know why I'm mentioning it. Yeah, it's Fangio and Groupie. This, you know, this is two well-established Chalice coaches. Yes. Uh, With the names already on the screen, so you know. Yeah. So, uh, it's getting time it's like, for Groupie to score, though. Here, isn't it? This is look, looking like overtime. I don't think it'll be a counter score either. Looking at it. But the important part, Alma Forever, is this game is dedicated to our viewers in the island of Saint Lucia. Mm. This has been a very messy uh, second half for both teams. It has, yeah. I think uh, nothing has worked for any of them. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of shit dice. <laughs> It's a good half for Fanjo though, isn't it? Like you know, after that five, after that five uh, man PI to to like still get back in and probably stop the score. Yeah, I, I don't know how uh, how is uh, Krupi gonna be able to score here. To be honest, he has two turns left, and he's uh, far far away. Yeah, and he's probably got to keep his re rolls for overtime, right? Like he's got to hedge that because this is three GFIs with a ball carrier, and 
got to protect him somehow as well. It's really hard. Only three GFIs in the snow, but also protect from blitzes as well. Maybe, maybe you should have blitzed this guy, and then he could have pow, chained him, and then that would have given this hit, and then he could have had both bulls free. Um, oh, does put in the reroll for this one. Not sure about this, to be honest. Oof. Oof. Well, now he's just going for it. Is he? No, 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 no. Yeah, I much, I much preferred, uh, I much preferred this blitz to to free both with one blitz. Can someone put the Discord uh, link around? Wait, there is a command for the Discord. It is exclamation point Discord. It's literally oh, just go. gone. Yeah. That should work. Ball isn't I in think... range. Well, he didn't do a GFI. He had to do one this turn. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he didn't do a GFI. Jesus Christ. I think the ball was the, the handoff to the ball was going to be the play. Yeah, he had to GFI. He had to GFI. That's, you can't leave one scoring through. No, that, that was really bad from. Really bad from Krippy. Big mistake. Like I know you don't want to do it, but you just have to, right? Because he's not—he's not counter scoring. Almost certainly not counter scoring. I guess he's got Cheney, but <laughs> it's well, probably not no, going to counter score. Yeah, there's no everything going uh, there. Yeah, it's too many things going on that uh, to be worried about the counter score. But he's getting ready. He's a uh, scoring threat there. Hmm. I mean, Cheney is in scoring range. Oh, big foul. Terrible foul. I would never have done that. <laughs> Terrible. He's in range of two G fans, but he assists the block, which is fair, right? It's probably the assisting the block is more relevant than being in scoring range, probably. So he's he's in he's in enough scoring range, you know. The best chance is a doing exactly that doing exactly that that's his best chance he needs to keep doing that uh, a little more and uh, mm -hmm. it will be a very easy over time yeah see but now cheney because he's here now cheney gets the claw hit so he's there's no way he's going to count score with cheney is there you know so this was i'm pretty sure what he did was correct it's like you shouldn't dodge in to hit the ball here no I, I don't think that the the right play, trying to get the ball, uh, pick up the ball with. Don't think this is the right. Oh no, you can push him there. Okay. And so I don't like this is the right play either. But it, I think do this two D right, and then if you get the power on the initial one, then you could have uh, three D with the uh, with the thing. I mean two D. Oh, here we go, Kaz. Look. Another miss next game. That's if the uh, Krupi managed to win this. He's two charms down for the next game. Mm. Huge. And here we go. Overtime. We'll both come back for the Norse. Mm -hmm. And the Chaos Dwarf stays out. Flip me. And the Norse win the toss. Wow, it's all it's all coming up Norse, isn't it? Unbelievable. Imagine getting diced by by Norse's chaffs. So uh three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine chaffs and eleven Norse. How has this happened? How has this happened? Outbashed by Norse.
my god. This Wouldn't is be me. looking good for Groovy. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. <laughs> Not much. It's looking really bad for Groovy. Really bad. Terrible, you might say. I want to, you know, take everybody's attention to the fact that the Norse ball carrier is AG4 Pro Sure Hands. Yeah. That pro there. <laughs> Not what I would have done. <laughs> if he says of Sure Hands has another skill or something like that, it's okay. You know, you're using Sure Hands as a cheap man version of Sure Hands or maybe Dodge. Hoping for that 50% to work, but also giving it sure hands. Our. Yeah, I don't understand the pro. Like, Edge 4, just go show hands and then, like, tackle or kick off return or whatever. Fend, like, it just seems so weird to go pro. Oh, well, there you go, there's another Kaz. Targeting the armor 7. Lovely. With the armor 6. Uh, <laughs> yeah! You know that has managed to survive all the game. Yeah. Yeah, he got pommed himself, didn't he? He didn't give a shit. Yes, yes. Probably should tag the uh, dirty player because it's so easy for TP to foul him, but then, I don't know, who knows, he'll probably just chim foul it. Yeah, some people like pro, don't they? I don't. But. Who can say who's right and who's wrong? <laughs> Hello, Fanjo. <laughs> oh, there you go, Fanjo himself in the chat. Don't, don't spoil anything, Fanjo. Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil anything and really don't watch the VOD. There <laughs> 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 you go. <laughs> oh, they didn't even foul the Pommer. Unbelievable. I'm gonna find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat Could them. Could surf this so ball carrier. Is he gonna surf the ball life. carrier here? No, he instantly blocked with Cheney. I guess he couldn't have blocked him. Actually, there's two here, wasn't there? I just saw him and I saw Cheney. I was like, well, you can free Cheney. Oh, I, my instinct was just instantly free Cheney. And surf him, but then there, there is too much in the way. Jump up the ball, lovely. Surely we're going to blitz him, yep. Big knockdown, claw mighty, nothing. That's nothing this time. It's a bit dicey, this, isn't it? Oh, wow, what up scores. The dice, for, the dice for both people in this game have been fucking horrendous. <laughs> There's a one in nine. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and with that, the Charles get the hit on the ball. Unbelievable. He's going the wrong way, Jeff. Can you shoot a play, guys? We might be able to see 2D on the ball, yeah. Uh, oh, a mate, news just in. Krupy spotted it. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a player. Gets the power as well. And the AV break and the removal. Ooh. Flip me, this might go to kicks. <laughs> Break tackle. I mean, it might just be the choice when you're normal time here, actually, to be fair. It's so all of a sudden, he's got all these players on the wrong side just so he could punch a ball. And uh, it's looking really bad. I guess Cheney can, uh, can get on the move. But he's got to, like, switch to defense now, hasn't he?
Palm. Palm, 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 palm. <laughs> Got a palm. There we go, Kaz, lovely. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why is it a nine and a nine? Oh, he's on the Oh, God. And a stun. So the banging has certainly rescued things a bit. Cheney's a pretty good safety, isn't he? Even if uh, everything else works. Having Cheney here is just incredible. Don't you remember that wrestler? <laughs> just incredible. <laughs> oh, here we're going for the dodge. Yeah, I like this. I like this play. It was the only way he was going to get it done, right? Like it's not. It's not great having a four-three, and then get it. But then he would have had it on the. Proper player and a bit of his screen and everything for it. I, I like that play. Are we going to oh Cheney man. Blitz? The JD the moves and now Cheney coming with it. No. Movement. No, he's just going to he's just going to palm, 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 palm. Because <laughs> like Cheney hasn't got lore anymore, right? Because there's no rerolls left. So I do like I really like blitzing the the. Um, bull with Cheney there and getting around in front with everybody. But instead, we go for a frenzy, a frenzy trap blitz, <laughs> and no palm. Unbelievable, Jeff. But gets the ball, which is good. Um, I've never heard of a game called Wrestling Empire. No. Wrestling Empire, I've never heard of that. Hello, Wombat. What's Wrestling Empire about? Do you, does it involve uh, fouling with a bloodstep guard? <laughs> Elf. <laughs> <laughs> to show respect, you know, I'm going to foul you the uh, strength five uh, one dancer, you know, with my one of my best players to show respect. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Instant. Hmm. <laughs> I'll Google it. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Cheney with a chain. Oh, nice. And now he gets to hit with it. Another oh, miss next. <laughs> wow, at this point, at this point, Krupy's just hoping he loses, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Save me the embarrassment of having to play a game of Blue Ball with six loners. Fucking hell. <laughs> there's, still, there's still like three more turns to pick it up and score, so yeah. Wow, what a recovery. Just bang everyone out. Get fucking nosed. <laughs> Saving him for the next round, yeah. Actually true, unbelievable. <laughs> it's funny to run, but I I had a I had an Edge five dodge thrower for my high elves that I, that I, I played on Fumble one time. And I seriously considered giving him dirty player just because he fouled so much in like games that I'd already won to, to, to stop himself getting sent off. <laughs> to stop himself getting cast like he was just foul. <laughs> really thought I mean, about dirty player. Fouling with uh, top players is a very valid tactic when you want to, you know, your team to survive. Yeah. This should be pretty easy to clear these, right? He's got so many more players. You can just clear everything and then... Uh, there's no reroll, so it's not that easy, I guess. Do you blitz with chain? Probably. So that saves you, saves you like a block plus hit. So. Oh, piling on there. Oh, but he's no, he's no, he's got a, he's got a. Ooh, this is a bit shit. Oh no, he's got a hit here. Okay, he's got the hit here. Oh. 
Gets the power and the scatter. <laughs> oh god, now he's gonna block with the old. Gets the power. But of course we'll stand firm, so there's no way to get the ball unless you run all the way around, yeah. So surf and run all the way around. Whew. Huge three plus. Gets it. And goes there, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. God, Cheney, what a bad ass. What an absolute bad ass. Now, Groupie, more or less, playing an autopilot. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's done. Oh, his only hope was that guy didn't get powered right. And now his chain is off. Cheers! It was a pretty cool game, wasn't it? There was some horrendous dice on it from both people at various points, but obviously worse for Groupie. <laughs> lots of chains, lots of uh, cars, lots of shards. Yes, very bashy game. Hmm. Terrible dice, yes, it was a... It's a pretty wild game. Yeah, I think after you take this many miss next games, honestly, you're better off just going out. <laughs> okay, I, group is playing now, is just to get that chorf up and foul the uh, armor 6. Oh Not yes, bad. yeah. Really bad play from uh, Fanjo there, right? Moving the dirty player over there. He should have. He should have fouled the. Uh, he should have fouled the claw pommer. So the claw pommer couldn't foul the blitzer. You're completely correct. Yeah. This was. I mean, this was the right thing to do to have a chance of winning the game. But you know, you shouldn't anticipate that that's what your opponent's going to do at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Any sensible person has given up on, on, on winning this game. So just protect your players by fouling his killer. Who would just be about to foul. So there you go. Um, unbelievable norsing. Congrats, Fanjo. Commiserations, Krippy. Thank you very much, Fine. Glorious having you in the booth. Glorious to be here as always. 47 armor breaks in total. What a game. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.